Looniform guy here, and this is the Lizard HY-400 by Vanquish081 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test and demonstration of this. That lettering looks very, uh, very 2D on there. Just notice that kind of. Um, right, 12.53 uh, megabytes to download. Um, it is 10 slots on console. You'll find it under vehicles and trucks. And there it is, $105,000 to purchase up to 100, uh, 400 to 810 horsepower. Manual transmission, 600 liters of fuel capacity, 55 miles per hour top speed. We have several engines starting with the 400 horsepower and it goes to 460, 560, 640, and 810. Wheel brands, Continental, Trelleborg, Michelin and back to Continental. So you notice there is quite a difference in uh, between the Continental and the Trelleborg and Michelin. Uh, you get, well, it's different. <laughs> so the style is different. Um, performance, I don't think, changes. Uh, it is interesting that we have the wheel set up option uh, showing, but we can't change it. It's a four by two, so it's two wheel drive, two axle. Um, right. Decals. You start with all, but we can turn it uh, just have the brand, the model, or, n or, or steering wheel. Uh, brand and model. Uh, brand, mo brand and steering wheel. Model, steering wheel, or none, or all. Right. Uh, main color, you can, uh, we have some custom colors, uh, $300, $300, oh, metallic and, uh, so we have a, um, solid and metallic color options for, oh, that's more, anyways, yeah, 500 bucks there if we go with, uh, Giants color, it's three thousand dollars. Bumper colors, again, uh, two fifty for the custom colors, but thousand um, dollars for Giants colors and rim color, rim colors. There we go. Uh, chrome is uh, one hundred and fifty, or if you go Giants colors, it's a thousand, and then a license plate option. Uh, no hitch on these. It's just um, pretty basically a semi-trailer or a semi-truck. Right, so let's hop in. This is obviously the, uh, well, I'm going to say obviously. This is the uh, base model. And looking inside, we have, uh, well, that's what you see there. Outside, well, let's start it up. Uh, horn a nice solid horn we got lights signals uh, lights in the back as well there we go that's bright brights go for a bit of a spin here as I said this is the base model I do have a tricked out model that we're going to torture test in a moment. Um, this looks like to carry on pretty nicely. Uh, oh. Has some a uh, little bit of weirdness going on here for balance. I think it has uh, what you would call the typical um, overcompensation for roll. Yeah. It leans into the, well, it's just, I guess the way you, they, to prevent it from flipping over, it leans into the turn, but being such a short vehicle, it tends to spin around quite, that's empty, of course. Right, so, here we are. Let's, uh, let's, without any further delay, uh, now I have the tandem here filled with fertilizer, so it is quite heavy, 76,000 liters of fertilizer. And uh, we're going to see, now I did notice it has something that's not unusual for 
semis it does tend to kind of twist a bit when it's pulling a heavy load it's not terribly a I would say it's not um, excessively apparent that it's doing that but it does occasionally do a little bit this is the 800 horsepower uh, configuration with the Trelleborg wheels or uh, tires and it actually seems to be performing quite well going up this um, this hill as I said that it's starting to lose it's starting to lose speed but um, that's quite a lot although with 800 horsepower you would think it would do a little better than that just saying and we're starting to really lose speed here <clears throat> um, right so I'm just gonna fast forward through this well that doesn't happen that often and we have basically well okay we got we got it moving again that's odd but we're we are losing we're not gonna make it up this is so um, we're gonna have to drop that back trailer and make our way up uh, it couldn't handle the tandem even at a 800 horsepower that's a bit surprising actually um, I've had much smaller lower horsepower um, trucks haul up this hill but anyways perhaps I'm too hard on it um, let's check the brakes out while we're while we're here and see how it's twisting a little bit when it's yeah all right so here's the binders now and well actually very impressive stops quite well um, oh that's right I'm it's uh, popped out that side and there you have it that's the lizard HY-400 by Vanquish081 on Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now